Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're well, hope you've had a nice week. Today's weather update is pretty stinky, pretty changeable. It's nice at the moment, but we're probably going to have another downpour. Um, yes, as you can probably tell from where I am and the sewing machine's out, um, this is going to be a slightly different kind of video today. Um, I have felt inspired by Amanda from I Sew A Lot to do a one hour challenge. Eek! Um, yeah, as I am a bit of a snail's pace seamstress, probably a really stupid idea, but I've got a Ogden cami cut out, and I thought I'd have a go at trying to sew it under an hour. So I guess we best just sort of dive in, is it? I've not done one of these before, so please forgive um, any iffiness. So I've got my timer, and let's go. Right. Um, I should probably have thought through the order I want to do stuff in, shouldn't I? Um, okay. We're going to keep getting distracted looking out the window. There are a couple of boxers who live just a few houses down there and um, they get walked in the lane there quite often. So if I hear their garage door go in, I'm usually sort of at the window looking out because I love boxers because they're the, the dog breed that I grew up with. Um, our boxer was called Gripper. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be a bit more of a, a chatty video than normal. Um, right, okay, first of all let's do some stay stitching, although I'm not sure I actually believe that stay stitching, oh excuse me, does anything, um, so maybe I should skip it, maybe I should use this as a um, experiment, but, oh, I put my own picker, that's optimistic isn't it? Found it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna skip stay stitching, which is either genius or stupid. Sorry, I mangled this because I started sewing too close to the edge. Okay, so I've I've unpicked that. I've made an executive decision that I'm not going to stay stitch. So I'm just gonna finish the edges of my um, half linings now. Um, I am um, quite a pinner, a pin, I use quite a lot of pins, how would I word that better? Um, so that I think that is a large part of what contributes to making me such a slow sewer, like even on a thing like a strap like this I'm, I'm pinning quite heavily, whereas I know that a lot of the um, super speedy seamstresses don't bother um, or use far less pins far fewer pins. I always get messed up with that one. Um, far fewer I think. Not a dog, just a car. Boring. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I did some exercise this morning for the first time in quite some time and now I sound like a heavy smoker. I sewed them with the wrong seam allowance. Oh dear, <laughs> so fast. It's not going well so far. Um, yeah, you just use three eighths instead of half an inch. Bum. Hang on, let me check the actual seam allowance. No, I know it's half an inch. I don't have a loop turner so what I did when I was turning my 
straps for the Ogden is a straw and then um, the blunt end of a um, wooden kebab skewer and then that turns it straight out dead nicely. Clueless top tip for you. I sew the end closed for that to work. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to, but I assume you're supposed to. I can't see how else it would work. Um, so I've done the straps. Really not going very well. How long have I been? About 10 minutes. Eek. Okay. Ah. Let's do some proper sewing. I sew the Ogden um, differently to the instructions. I followed um, what Katie sews um, tutorial on her blog. Um, basically you sew, sew the bodice to the facing, um, sandwich in the straps inside. So I do need to press the straps. I was waiting until I had more ironing. Um, and then yeah, you sandwich it, you do one half, and then you do all your, your clipping, your unstitching, all that malarkey, and then you do the same on the other side. And um, I'll show you when we get to it. I'm just going to do some ironing. Remembering the right seam allowance. Okay, so all sewed, um, and then you clip into the curves, trim, grade the seam allowances down, and understitch. Um, I use my stitch in the ditch foot um, for under stitching because hopefully you can see but it's got this little black fin and that goes in the seam and then you can move the needle position so you've got a guide where to under stitch to and I also um, under stitch before pressing because I find it makes the, um, the pressing easier. I really like understitching, that's quite sad, isn't it? I don't know why. It is easier to understitch into a corner than to try and start from the corner, but I am lazy and didn't want to have to fiddle with the needle position but I probably should have, it would have saved me time in the long run because this has been really awkward So pressing time we have a half now you do the same for the other side but you sandwich the straps in so then you've got a big loop of top. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Okay. So, pop out the way slightly. We, I'm going to lay down my front and then make sure I understand. Yeah. So, Straps need to go, yes that's going to work isn't it, that way, so I'll just pin them on for the second, 
Make sure they're not twisted. Fighting me like tiny little snakes. And then sandwich them in with the facing. Or half lining, whatever it wants to be called. Okay, and then it's the same again. Pin, 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 so, so, so. So, do you all have some nice sewing plans for the weekend? Um, I am hoping to finally finish my jeans. They've taken me forever and I don't think they're actually going to be wearable when I finish the bloody things. Um, just because they've got these weird star-shaped crotch wrinkles of doom is what I'm calling them. Um, you can have a look on my blog for some ever so flattering photos of my crotch. Um, at work the other day I was chatting to um, one of my work friends and um, telling her about my jean sewing exploits and just so pointing at my crotch <laughs> with big scissors but my tiny little ones are all the way over there. There we are at the trim. Oh for goodness sake. I didn't realise that the screen had gone off, sorry. Um yeah. probably need to if I do one of these again um, work out how my timer on my iPad works and put it somewhere where we can both see it but if this top ends up variable it's probably going to be a miracle 19 minutes left serious mode in the zone sewing now. I should probably have done a knit thing for my first one of these, shouldn't I? They are a lot speedier. But I figured that this would be quite nice and quick. Okay, so I have sewn into the corners this time, so I've got to fiddle my needle position. Um, and it's on, it's a millimetre and a half over, so I've just got to move it three millimetres. <laughs> Nearly went to the outside with my back stitching then, but I'm good. That would be the sort of thing a perfectionist might undo. I, I unpick very little generally. I tend to just live with the mistakes. That's not very good, is it? I probably should unpick a lot more. Um, what about you guys? Are you perfectionists? Do you unpick everything? Or are you a bit more slapdash like me? And pressing again. All in one piece. Can you see me? Just the side seams and hem to go with eek. Ten minutes. I can do the side. I've got, I've got this. I've got this. Put my rocky face on. Need the training montage, what I need. This would be the point where if the man friend was here, he would start singing, hear the best around at me. Um, generally, whenever we talk about exercise or getting things done as well. He likes to burst into that. Right, so now when you do the side seams, you just line up the armpit seam, the uh, 
facing you doohickey, the side sleeve, and then just sew that all in one big line. So I might brave using fewer pins. Let's see. You could do this with French seams as well, but you might have a bit of bulk at the underarm seam then. Um, because the tutorial um, that what Katie Sows did, um, she she trims a little notch at the armhole. Um, I don't know if I did on my first, first one of these, I can't remember. But that's to reduce some of the bulk. But of course this is a, a really light weight drapey um, viscose. So it doesn't really matter. Me and the man friend were chatting about viscose and rayon the other night. Because um, he works in uh, rugs and carpets and that sort of industry. So he, he knows the fibres. We have fibre chats because we're really sexy young things, um, cool and trendy, um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, so we were having a chat about um, viscose and rayon and the differences between them and why why we call them different things in different parts of the world and there's, there's no outcome to this, I'm just sort of babbling at you. <laughs> just check my bobbin thread, you watched, that, that would have been the case, you know. So we're on a deadline and the bobbin runs out. Always rubbish for not trimming threads as I'm going along tying them off and etc. Now to the overlocker. We have an Ogden-ish. We just need to do the hem overlock and then stitch the hem. And where are we? <laughs> 20 seconds. Do you think I can do this in 20 seconds? Mm. Can't even start in 20 seconds. Let's just wait. <laughs> bidding, bidding. Oh, you like that. <laughs> okay, if I put it on stopwatch now and we'll see how much over the hour it takes me. But I still need to rush, and I'm gonna relax and get all chit chatty and start talking about dogs again. Hey, da -da. Let's stitch this ham. watching time just stopped it and we're just under nine minutes so I reckon maybe it might have been seven um, if I stopped on time so an hour and seven minutes seven minutes over isn't too bad um, we won't pay any attention to the quality of the sewing in this make um, but, da -da. um yeah anyway <laughs> you're all having a fabulous day um, I hope you enjoyed this shambolic video I'm not looking forward to having to edit it um, if I if you liked it I can try and do more and have learned from how badly this one went um, and hopefully it will go a little bit better and yeah um, anyway wha rambling rambling um, take care everybody and I will see you next time bye bye Hi guys, hope you're well. No. So, um, I realised as I was pressing this, you probably can't hear me over this. I'll wait till I've opened up. I'm gonna have them in this.
and then I just go, look at my crotch, Sarah. And I can't cut that 